Hello and welcome, I'm Arumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more Factorio. This is the No Assembly Required campaign where we don't build anything at all. Um, don't let me forget, because I might. I've, I actually was reading the comments and I think I've actually made like four mistakes. Um, if you count like making like a box to delete stuff, then, then that's true too. So the next thing I think we want to work on is trying to get... Um, well, the iron's way down there. Um, I need to go get some iron. I'm gonna eventually have to move all the processing down here now that we have it all down here. And also we gotta go kill that base. Because the pollution is very, very soon gonna start causing attacks to happen. Having a few turrets would be really quite nice at this point. We have the technology, don't we? Oh yeah, we do. Alright, can we just make one down here? The turret requires three components, so we would need the blue one, which we only have one. And we need to get some copper down here. Just tap into this copper. At the very least, get some something going. Let's do that. That sounds more than reasonable. Hey, we got a subscriber. I am playing this for uh, Twitch at the same time right now. I don't normally do that, but today I am. The subscriber is uh, Bolshajazvinja. Sounds like a ninja. That might be the purpose of that name. Okay. Underground pipe? Underground? Do we have any? Damn it. Normally, I would just make one. But we can't do that. It's not allowed. Looks like we're having some, some major power issues. I'm guessing it's just a yeah, fuel shortage up here. That should fix things up for a bit. Uh, okay, so I need to make some more underground belt. Pop out a few of those. And next up is definitely going to be power. That's probably plenty, but... Eh, we'll just let it make some more. And then go back to inserters. And throw some iron in there, get some more inserters made. Okay, it's awfully dark, but I don't have any lights yet, do I? I don't think I do that technology. Now we're working on automation. We're trying to get more blue, blue um, assembling machines. Number twos. Oops. Now I'm actually going to extend this one extra tile because I don't like the corner. I don't like the merge point to be a corner because then you're mixing like a slowdown corner and a slowdown merge point. I just don't like it. So there we go. Copper processing is now happening. Um, I don't have a box down here. Can I make a... Uh, I have a. I have one assembly machine, don't I? Yes. Yeah, let's make a couple boxes. There we go. We're in business. It's looking good. Okay, let's get rid of that thing now. And now, the next thing, I think, is to just go start working on power. So to do that, we need, like, 26 boilers. We're going to need some burner inserters. Let's change you over to, uh, to burner inserters for the moment. Pump out a few of those. Look at that power. Ugh. We're really struggling on power at the moment. Okay. So that's happening. Science is happening. We also have copper over here. I'm okay with just taking this apart though now. I really want to avoid pollution in this general direction. You can see those faint little red lines. Doing okay on pollution. Okay, we have plenty of burner inserters now. Let's change the recipe to some boilers. Make more of those. We need pipe. This is a temporary thing. We don't need a lot of them, so I think I'll just make a couple pipe here and here. We'll feed them in manually. Okay, so we've got the... Got the burner inserters, 
somewhere in here. There they are. Plenty of them, actually. Um, we've also got the... We could use some more electric poles. But we have some. Good. Okay. And if I remember correctly, I had decided that I wanted the power to be, like, over here. So it's going to be water pumps, underground pipe, the, the actual fuel supply here, and then the boilers over here. So let's just start setting up the boilers here. Or not the boilers, sorry, the steam engines. Like, maybe here. It'll be fine. So, yep. We'll do them 5x5? Five five? Or do we want to do... We have space for 10x10, ten ten, actually. 10x1. Ten no functional difference, really. Between, uh... 2x5 and 1x10, although it does kind of give you more mobility, because you can't walk between these. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I just don't know what to do here. 1x10 or 2x5. I think we'd have enough power with two by five. We could we can put plenty of them in there, really. But now nah, we'll just do we'll do one by ten. Decision made. That's uh, one, two, three, four. We need two more boilers. Those ones would be they. Be them. Whatever. Man, we need power. Look at how slow that thing is. Okay. Um, I need some underground pipe. Let's change you over to underground pipe, and then feed some some more stuff back in. We're really not going to need this many. Also, how much underground transport do I have? Ten? That's plenty. Need some more pipe. we got 20 boilers on us. We need 26. 23. 24. 25. 26. And there's an extra 10. Great. Back to inserters with you. Don't worry, we didn't just lose those. They actually just get teleported into your inventory. Okay, so to make the final two boilers, steam engines rather, hey, we can make blue ones. Yay! Alright, um, let's work on optics. Yeah. Let's quickly make a couple more of these guys. I don't have any gears. Well, let's make some gears. And a little bit more transport belt will be fine. Alright, well I suppose that's good. I mean we got, what, a extra one out of it? That's good. As long as we have one on us, we can make more as soon as we pick up more resources. So I think we pretty much have everything we need, except for, oh yeah, okay, we gotta make the boilers. I want two more of those. One, two. Guess that's good. And we are ready for some major power. Major. Okay, so there's our row of ten. Next one's gonna go here. We're gonna put power probably as minimally as we can. It might not be symmetric this way, though. Oh well. And then we're going to have a transport belt that's going to run right through them. Although I'd kind of like to have some lights in here, but I guess we don't really need them, do we? Here, I'll tell you what. After every... After every light pole, we'll have a... a, uh, a lamp. Too far. Yeah, oh, man, I need more of them now. There are quite a few lamps. Or quite a few light bulbs. Okay. Man, is it dark. We need optics pretty badly. 
It is dark out. Holy crap. Um, I also need to go get some iron. I can barely see. Okay, I need more of the... Underground belt. Make that. We'll go pick up the iron. I'm excited to have a, a nice processing area down here. Hey, we can make light. Cool. We make a few lights down here. What a, what a light stick again. Three inputs, so we need one of our blue guys. Our assembling machine twos. Uh, next research, why don't we just work on... Oh, I don't know, steel processing. Seems like something good to have. Very little copper still there. And we'll have you make some lights for us. Which requires iron sticks. Tell me, have I made any mistakes? Have I have I forgotten? Don't think I have. Now the problem is that since this thing is actually feeding him in, it's only gonna make a couple and then it'll stop, so we have to give it an output into a box, otherwise it'll just it won't make very many. Electrical demand is very, very unsatisfied right now. We really don't need that bound in there. Let's change that to coal. Clear that one. Okay, so the lights are being made. We've got some more underground belt. Looks fine. Then that goes there. And then these are going to run over like this. And this is two separate chains, so we don't need to worry about merging the two pipes. This will be where the boilers go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and eleven, twelve, thirteen. The only drawback is that this is one long, continuous, continuous thing that I can't move through. Kind of annoying. Alright, put down our burner inserters. And we will put down our underground pipe. Here and here. Did I even make the, uh, the things? I don't think I did. The offshore pumps. We need a couple of those, too. And maybe we'll actually have some lights to pick up, too. That would be ideal. 29 lamps. Holy crap. Um, yeah, I need some... of the... offshore pumps. Requires electronic circuits, which requires iron. Alright, that should give me a few of those. Let's also get a few more transport belt, because you can really not have too much transport belt. While we're waiting... Well, this is only going to make... We just need two. There we go. Uh, we need more. We really don't. Let's uh, get you back to inserters. Okay. We're about to have power, and it's going gonna, it's gonna to be glorious. It really will be. We've done a lot, I think, in this video. A lot's happening. Alright, so we got lights, camera, action. Let's get our water supply. Really only need one at the moment, but I always seem to make them in pairs. And uh, this one I guess we can do here. Not exactly perfectly symmetrical, that's okay. I always like to do one underground section just so that I can... I can walk around it if I need to get through. Or drive a car through or something. Okay, um, next up we need to throw one unit of fuel in each of these boilers, or each of these burner inserters. And then the very last thing is just attach some coal. And then we've got our power plant. Beautiful and big. 
providing us with more power than we really know what to do with at this point. I personally feel like burner inserters should start with just enough power to do one motion. I think that that would just make the game much simpler and better. Okay, so that's looking good. And last thing is we need a splitter. And we will run some coal up from down here. I had a feeling I'd run out of transport belt. I didn't cheat this episode, right? Mention it in the comments down below. If I did, I don't think I did. I don't think I made any mistakes. Fuel. Okay, and then, um... I really want it to be there. Yeah, I think so. I think we do it like this. We actually put in a splitter here. Just so that, you know, like on each, in each row that needs fuel, we can just do a splitter and then have some of it go off. Now, um, as soon as that fuel gets down there, they're going to grab it up, power themselves one time, and then they get, get the boilers running, and we're, we're operational. We are glorious! Electrical demand satisfaction at 100%. It's looking pretty good. Alright, cool. I am going to take a quick break here. I look forward to seeing you in the next video, everyone. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.